Okay, guys. Got monkey's camera broke in. It looks like she zoomed in, but I don't. Uh, I don't know how you zoom it. I know it's got a zoom on it. Looks like she zoomed way in. Anyway, I borrowed her camera for this. I better go clean it off so <laughs> before she gets home. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? I usually stand them up, but monkey's not here to enjoy it. I asked her this morning, I said, you want to be here when I burn this, right? She said, it don't matter. I just want it out of the damn yard. So, ooh, got hot clear over here. Camera's not the tripod is. But, uh, <laughs> so, figured why not, right? Good enough, right? Alright. You put some more screws around the bottom of that. I made it so I can just pull it up out of there. And I just got some screws to hold it from falling down in. I only got three in. I should put two more and it'll be more level. But... And that's it. That's a tree. So don't let your Christmas tree dry out, guys. Uncle Lewis come over and light a cigar and, or as he calls it, stogie. And that's what happens, whoosh. <laughs> that one actually burnt longer than they usually do. As you can see, it wasn't like totally brown. And it is the 22nd, I do believe, of January. So, and we got this thing in November. Uh, it was laid out in the front yard, <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, check it out. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just sitting here doing a few things around the house, taking my time. It's 72 out, and I'm building a fire. But when it was cold out, I really wasn't allowed outside because I wasn't feeling well. I mean, I could have did it. But Monkey was like, you need to stay in today. Okay. Um, but it's pretty decent out. I'm feeling a little better, so sound like there's a car out front. Let's go check.
no one there. So, <coughs> anyway, the front yard, I'm going to wait a couple weeks to mow it, because, sorry about the wind. Because it, uh, wow, really picked up. Sorry about that. It, uh, I mean, I'd pretty much be mowing sand. This really didn't need it, but I got the mulching blades on. So what I did was, uh, I just blew, it was because of the, the pine needles, so I just blew them all over here into the fire. I started a fire, burn a big box, and uh, so it's kind of kept mowing in a circle, blowing it all into that. Beats raking it, right? And uh, uh, I got motion blades on that, but I don't have the, the block off plate. I need to get a block off plate for it. Still helps. Uh, but, so I just kind of blew it all over here in a circle into the fire pit area there. Uh, I was thinking about burning, stand that tree up over in the other fire, in the fire pit pit, standing it up and lighting it up, but um, it's awful dry over there. I didn't want to catch the woods on fire because everything is dry. I mean, all them vines and everything. It's all dry. <laughs> so, I was like, no, nah, I just did it out here because I knew it'd be all right here. Always got a water hose handy over there. Uh, just in case you never know, right? So, and it'll reach, it'll reach clear over to the fire pit. It'll reach, I don't know, it's 50 foot hose, 50 or 60 foot hose. Can't remember I know it'll go back to that burning barrel where the hell's that right behind me there that burn barrel it'll go back to there um, so I always keep it handy just in case it's I got it hanging over there uh, I got to put a new washer in it when you turn it on of course it leaks right there at the valve so you kind of get wet every time you use that one one out front is still holding strong man i did a review on that a couple years ago i'd have to check that out i did a review on that hose the one that shrinks up and it don't get tangled and stuff now the nozzle doesn't shut off anymore it still does the spray in the stream but it won't shut clear off but hey what i get for that 20 I give 20 bucks for that or 30 I can't remember I'd have to look at it but so I thought I'd just vlog with you guys and sit here and talk for a couple minutes you know make sure that's going to be all right because the wind did pick up since I was uh since I was mowing and by the way yes monkey's camera was zoomed in I took in the bedroom the zoom buttons are right on the side and also I had her little monitor thing you can zoom with that too so she was zoomed in like for that camera almost all the way she was zoomed in like three times I think it goes to five <laughs> it's like man so man because she'll zoom in for something and then she won't never zoom back out well when you zoom these cameras in they stay that way I, I don't know if my vintage ones do or not I'm pretty sure they do but like this one if I zoom it in Okay, so I'm zoomed in a little bit there, and um, if I shut it off, change the battery, come back two weeks from now, it's going to be zoomed in like this, and that's no kidding. So always remember to zoom back out, because I thought it looked, when I first clipped it onto the tractor, I thought it looked, because uh, I did it, I put it on the tractor out front, I just clipped it on the hood, and uh it was pointing at the house at the bench and it looked like it was zoomed in on the bench and I was like well maybe it's just me you know different camera but I thought you know I know that thing's got a super wide angle and I thought man it should be better than that so anyway so that was like I don't know it took like 15 minutes or something my fire went out <laughs> this fire but so I just fast forwarded you know, through some of that and some of it I didn't but um, 
so how's everybody doing today hope you're doing well man we've been missing a lot of stuff I'm missing a battery for this thing and we're finding we're finding stuff in weird places man that that we wouldn't we wouldn't put like like the memory card for my drone I found it as soon as we walked in it was on my computer desk right on the left hand side of the uh, the keyboard that's weird and it was in the sleeve because I just use a I got different uh, card readers too but I just put it in the sleeve and stick it right into the computer card reader because it's quicker that way um, the only thing I can think of is when when I used it the first time after I imported the footage into the PC I took it out and set it there and stuck it back and stuck the one out of here up into the computer but usually and when I do that while that's importing I'll put you know the memory card back in whatever camera I took it out of so just like now I put monkey's memory card right back in uh, as soon as I got an importing importing the video I I don't know I just I, I don't know I'm missing missing a battery for this not the original one the original one's in and I'm using it right now but I bought two extras and a charger I'm missing one of the extra ones I bought I have no idea where it is um, and it should have been in the bag where my other one is right now my backup battery I keep them in the bag the battery and chargers in there but I'm missing a battery and we're missing one of monkeys too it's always coming up missing because there's four for monkeys camera because there was you know it came with one and then old blue the blue camera came with one and when we was using old blue I bought two extra batteries for it so now she and those batteries will interchange with with her camera with the uh, 3000 the Sony action cam and so we ended up with four batteries for it now there's only three I don't I don't know and we we put stuff back in the bag too I don't get it sorry about the smoke really weird yeah, we got the Corvette up for sale. I'd really like to get it running, running. I mean, it'll start up, but I never let it got get up to operating temperature. I just started up for a few seconds in that one video, but um, I got to get it to where it can run because it's got a new cam. You got to break them cams in. It is a roller, but still, I like to break them in you know before I start them up too many times oh yeah I shaved today so it'll probably get cold again <laughs> but next month down here in Florida we start getting sp our spring weather even though it's not spring we start getting spring weather in about February um, so we haven't had a bad winter so uh, we've had some cold days but down in the 20s just a couple days it got, it got down to 27 one night and 28 one night um, it's been down in 30s a few times but that's not unusual for here it, it does happen in, in January but February it starts warming up again so uh, we're going to get I'm going to get the boat I'm going to put it I want to do it back here, but I don't know with all these. I'm going to paint the boat. I'm going to take the motors off and everything out of it. I'm just going to flip it over on some salt horses I got over here. And uh, I'm going to paint the boat. I'm going to pressure wash. That paint just chips off. So I'm just going to pressure off, pressure wash what comes off. And, uh, and maybe scrape a little bit. I'm not going to take it clear down to the aluminum. Because if, if it doesn't come off in pressure washing, it's not going to come off going going up the river out through the lake and also I'm going to clear coat it so it doesn't 
chip off like that and that they just used house paint on it i'm going to use an enamel and uh then i'll clear coat it and i'll make sure all the rivets are sealed up real good i still have to get a prop what i did was i contact cement contact glue <laughs> the where the oh, damn thing that goes into the rubber and uh it's holding it's slipping a little it, it does slip but uh, i did that so we could run it on well so i could take it on my uh camping trips what it was and then and then we used it on the lake for the uh for the boat parade so um yeah so that's why that's why i did that it's not i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't trust it to get out on the lake running it wide open and I mean, we got the trolling motor, it would get us back with no problem. I hate that trolling motor, though. It's junk. Uh, I want to get another Minn Kota. Monkey said, you want a Minn Kota? Get you a Minn Kota. <laughs> Fits for that boat, boy. She said, get it. <laughs> you need a prop? Go get a prop. What I'm going to do is... Um, no, we're that way with each other. <laughs> you know, I need to get this. She's, she didn't have her hair done for over a year. She kept saying, I need to get my hair done. Well, go get it done. <laughs> really don't have the money. I'm like, yeah, but come on. You know, that's that's for personal stuff. You know, it makes you feel good, you know. Because so, it costs her <laughs> almost 200 to get her hair done. That's okay. I don't care. If it makes her feel good and, and she looks good and and I'm real proud of her. She she lost a lot of weight. Um, I think she said like around 30 pounds. So that's pretty good. So she's feeling better. Um, her mom's not feeling well today, but um, she has felt good past couple days. So she's going to get her out on her days off and take her walking up on the trail. You know, it's nice and smooth and uh, it's paved, you know, on the bike trail and walking trail. She'll take her out there and walk her, so um, she's doing better too. So, because she's got therapy coming in now and nurse coming in, and so she seems to be doing better. Like I said, she's not feeling well today, so I keep going in checking on her, make sure she's all right. Um, but so you know, just some personal stuff there, but. Yeah, uh, Monkey loves her camera. I still have yet to re do a review on it, but I want to do a review when I know more about the camera. Um, I know quite a bit about it. It's pretty much just like any other camera. It just, things are in different places and stuff like that. So, I want to do, do that. If you're going to get one of them, um, it's a Sony Action Cam. It's the 3000. You're best to get the get the whole kit. It comes with a monitor because uh, when we bought that for, I was like, that's not bad, you know. It's like three hundred and some bucks, and I'm like, you know, you can't buy a GoPro Hero Eight or Nine for that really anymore. If you look around, you might be able to. You can get them used for about that price. But so I bought it, and then I then I was still researching after I bought it. I was like shit i should have got the whole for 450 for 100 dollars more i could have got the monitor and all this other stuff that i bought extra uh so her mom got her the monitor for christmas i ordered it for her and uh it came in time for christmas so if you're going to do that just get the whole kit around 450 bucks and you get that little monitor and stuff i mean she was using her phone for a while you can use your phone i can use i can use my phone on this which I think you guys saw that in the review video. Um, and I can use it on her phone. Um, we can use one phone and operate both cameras if we want. So that's pretty good. But that little monitor is handy. So sometimes you'll see her. She's not looking at a watch. She's looking at her monitor. And then also I got her uh, the little clip that goes on top. To where she can flip the monitor up. And she can look right up there. Kind of like a little screen so but she really loves it so if you guys are going to get one of them man and it's got the boss the uh balanced optical stabilization system anyway it's you know you, it's got a gimbal built into it you don't need a big ass gimbal on your tripod or anything 
Uh, it's got the same thing this has got. Of course, the lens is a lot smaller, but that's what it does. So that helps her out a lot. Um, it's amazing. Uh, the GoPro Heroes, they got they got a steady shot on them, but they don't have the, the boss system. They don't have the stabilization. They got an image stabilization, but it's it, there's no comparison. So if you watch some videos you'll see them little white cameras all over everybody's switching to them and a lot of people put them up against the gopro heroes 9 and uh they're switching they're they're changing over to the sony handycams um so they're not as flat you know i mean they're shaped like a camera they're not as flat but um they're light they are small they're tiny they're light and stick it in your pocket or whatever does have a waterproof case and it's also water resistant up to one meter which would be approximately three feet you know so like if you do drop it in a mud puddle you, it's you know it's pretty well sealed up um, you can uh, and with the case on it I can't remember how far down it'll go it'll go way down also you can flip the image upside down because you know like if you got it on tripod here and you want to put it in the water with a selfie stick and point it down you can flip the image so the image is not upside down that's pretty cool I don't know if the GoPros do that or not I'm sure they do but I just thought that was pretty neat um, like you don't need the uh, if you're filming in the rain you don't need to uh, you don't need to put it in the case because no water will get in it if it's just like raining or or whatever so and it's also got you know the external mic so you can run mics two mics uh, I got her that two mic system I like it sounds pretty good um, so her and her mom can each wear a mic when they're when they're doing their their little crafts and their little projects so overshot that one but yeah so i just want to get that burnt and get the backyard somewhat get some of these uh hell probably in march i'll be moving that stuff over there that wood the wheelbarrow and get that mowed all down nice and neat because i'm going to plant a garden in there we're still going to use the garden box i'm not sure what for yet but we're going to plant something in the garden box so yeah, just kind of an update on what's going on around here. So. Her old John Deere's running pretty good. We got together, she used to keep it in the garage. We got together, she's like, here's my garage. Of course, she had nothing in it. She had some shelves, that was about it. You know, no tool, no nothing. <laughs> and there sat the John Deere. <laughs> her truck sitting outside she parked the john deere in the, in the garage <laughs> now it's full of tools it's a mess we got to get it cleaned out that's going to be a rainy day thing there when it's raining we'll go ahead and because it's still not situated from i had it situated but nah, it's still not situated from bringing all that stuff because remember i had a two and a half car garage full of stuff i had to fit in this little what they call it a one car garage but you can't work in it it's just a place you barely got room we used to park a convertible in there and you barely have room to get out i would have pulled in for it because she couldn't get out that well you had to hug one side real close to be able to get out and now we got the fridge in there i mean you had to pull it clear up to almost the washer and dryer it's just a place to park your cars you know you can't work in it by any means but her dad's garage was a, we called a two and a half car garage because you can pull two cars in there and work on them you know so uh yeah i mean you could fit two cars and a golf cart if you wanted to in that garage so i got all the stuff out of there in that little tiny garage so and some of it's in the shed back here the shed's holding up pretty good no leaks yet so yeah it's doing well uh, we want to get a carport out front I don't know if I gotta get permits for that or not I gotta check into it but uh, so hopefully we can get that done but the kitchen they should be coming in anytime 
the end of this month or the beginning of next month they should have the cabinets ready to come in and be put in so uh, they said uh, I think it'll take three days but it's going to be filming since I got the camera in there I'll be filming it and I'll time lapse it for you but I think before we get to carport you know that roof has been on there since what 1994 or 96 when the house was built that's the original roof and uh, it doesn't leak it's still holding strong but over there where the trees are you know it's shady it never really and then you got all these uh, pine needles up there and, you know it rains and then it gets wet and it just stays that way it's getting kind of soft over there so it's going to need some sheeting on it over on that back side I would replace it all but you know you're talking what 12 grand for that probably if I'm lucky uh, I was just going to do it myself but I can't do it now I, I think it, I could do it it'd take me about a week maybe longer I think I could do it but she'll never let me do that so I need to get up there blow the leaves off because I do it in the winter and then I do it in the spring well I do it in the fall I should say I'll blow them off and then I'll blow them off again in the spring um, I don't think I did it this past fall because uh, we had a lot of winds that kind of kept it cleared off but it's getting up there now so I'll have to get up there with the blower and blow it off so just thought I'd sit here and chat with you guys for a minute and uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do now keep an eye on this for a few more minutes <coughs> it's pretty well burned out but uh so I just thought I'd bring you along with me today and uh, have a little fun ride around on the mower for a little while what was that? did you see that? Um, I'll get the uh, I'll get my tractor the simplicity the orange one uh, I don't know if I'll do it this weekend I, I'd like to sell sell uh, put stuff out for sale this weekend so I'd like to sell this weekend if I can I don't know what monkey's got planned but if it's gonna be nice it's been nice past three days here a little cloudy today but it's not calling for any rain it's supposed to be 80 but it, it's 72 right now well when we came when I came out to film uh, so I'd like to sell sometime this weekend but we'll get the old simplicity out and we'll get it fired up and ride it around for a little bit um, I'd like to get some blades for it I put the muffler back on. I never put the muffler back on from the race, but I'll, I got to put the muffler back on. No, um, but I'd like to get, like I said, I'm going to put her battery in that one. When I get her a new one, then I'll take that one in for a return. But because um, it needs a battery, uh, it'll hold charge for a little bit, but not long. Um, let's see. Still doesn't. I think it may have a coil issue it wants to kind of it loses a little power um, I did have the head off the valves look good I kind of lapped them in a little bit it helped it but it kind of it doesn't run hot but it kind of acts like it's running hot but it's not um, so I think the coil might be going bad because after you run it a while like you get half the front yard mode it wants to start losing power kind of cuts out a little I uh, could need a plug but it's kind of acting like I said kind of acting like it's running hot but it's not so I think I think the coil might be going bad on it <clears throat> so but I'll put some blades on it <clears throat> might sell it I'd like to keep it but I don't really need to of course that would be handy to use as a backup when I get hers tore down once I get the get the uh, garage cleaned out so I can get that in there and get the engine tore down put new rings in it and I might put new pistons and rods in it maybe it doesn't have a lot of hours on it, it just sits a lot you know but uh kind of go over that and paint the deck on it not the mower deck but like the fenders that's also known as a deck to some people but I've always called them a deck but uh you know the fenders there and uh, take that off and repaint it. I'm not going to paint the hood. Uh, 
I'm not sure. I don't think the deck needs painted, but if it does, I'll paint it. But uh, I think the hood, I can just buff it out. It'll be fine. Maybe order some new stickers for it. Make it look kind of new again. Clean it up. Um, and that'll be good. So that's all future projects, which I'll bring you guys along with me. I know it's getting windy now, so I'll go ahead in the house for a little bit. And uh, I think that's going to be all right, but I got to stay close. Um, keep an eye on that since the wind's kicking up. And then, then I'll go in and edit this video for you guys. But if something happens between now and then, I'll kick you on and we'll enjoy it together, whatever it may be. <laughs> But either way, I'll come back and uh, I'll do an outro for you. This is just a vlogging day, so. Uh, Alright, guys. Hang tight and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. So, monkey's on her way. Um, thought I'd sit here. And she's got to stop by the store, I think. Do you like cold beer? Yes, and a beer. So, I don't get people saying... You shouldn't be drinking when you're on blood thinners. I'm not. There's no alcohol in this, so. Um, but, uh, I was in, oh, got a chill. I got this, uh, this game on my computer. Um, what is it? Farming something 14, Farming Simulator 14. It's pretty fun. I was playing it and my computer restarted. It didn't shut down. I mean, it, it did. It restarted. <clears throat> so I got to go in. Every time I get an update on Windows 10, it kind of sets the settings the way it wants to. You got to go back in and set it to where, you know, the computer won't shut or Microsoft or whatever. Uh, whenever it updates you got to go back in and if you don't want the computer to shut down automatically you got to set up for that or it'll restart every so often on its own and you got to do that every damn time Jeez, it's 2021 and they can't find a way to when you get a new update which is what every week when you get a new update they, they can't find a way to where your settings save completely it's ridiculous and another thing is when you're uh, when you get the updates you know it doesn't take the old ones out so it's stacking up stacking up and I'm always my memory's always getting low so because you know I do a lot of videos right so I put the videos onto a external hard drive and that gives me some space but just after a while even if you don't do take pictures or do videos if you if you just use it to surf the web every time that updates you still got the old update on there it doesn't delete it automatically they say well they do that in case you want to go back to the old one really come on man and people don't know that you can delete the old updates and I mean that takes up space like crazy because every time you you know you got this Windows update now you got this Windows update and this Windows update and all the other ones are still on there you know it's like what the hell it's crazy it chilled down a little bit so I don't know if you guys play that game or not my fire went out I'm gonna see what temperature it is hang on okay I'm back it's 73 which is one degree hotter than it was earlier but it's chilly and the winds not blowing of course I was by a fire but even when I was on the tractor it was hot I mean I was sweating now I'm getting I got cold chills but anyway I don't know if you guys play that game or not but I got three tractors and a bunch of fields and hay and all this stuff so every time it shuts down 
you know, it saves every few minutes. It'll ask you, you want to save your progress. And I go, yeah, but if it shuts down before that and the next one, you got to go back. So now I, I forget what I was doing. <laughs> So anyway, just, you know, just kind of hanging out today. Got some things done, so I'm good with that. Monkey's wanting to wash a Corvette. I don't know if she's going to this weekend or not. But <clears throat> got to get all this stuff cleaned up over here. So, and then I think what I'll do is I'll bring the Corvette back here a little bit. <clears throat> I gotta leave enough room in, to get in and out of the garage. So, uh, Monkey sent me a picture. She must be asking something. Oh, you want the flower ones? <laughs> I don't care as long as they're the big ones. <laughs> Cause she, she like she gets the kits, right? And the tortillas in the kits, you know, they're little. I mean you put a little bit of meat, a little bit of cheese, you ain't got room for anything else. And you try to fold it up, you, you get I like the big ones, the plate size ones. That way I can put some meat, some cheese in there, you know, some sauce. Roll that bad boy up. I mean, it's just like I, Subway. I, you know, I like their subs, but man, the thing about them is, you know, if you just go and buy a sub, I mean, they just put a little bit of meat, a little bit of cheese, and they just load the lettuce on it. I mean, it just, you got a salad sandwich, really, in my book. In my book, you got a salad that they put on, on a bun. So I, I tell them, look, I. Cause you know you go down the line you want this that look I don't want no vegetables I want double meat double cheese and um, uh, you know my peppers and whatever else but I, you know I, I don't want any lettuce on it and they're like are you sure you sure you don't want look I said I don't want it it's like they're pushing you because you know they don't want to put the extra stuff on which they charge you for the extra meat and cheese, which, okay, I'll pay for. The hell, they're even getting skimpier. They're littler, so, you know, I just don't like biting into a bun and you got all this mayonnaise and, and like I said, it's just a bunch of lettuce and a bunch of tomatoes and you can't even taste the meat. How's that a sub? That's a freaking salad on a giant crouton, if you ask me, you know what I mean? And, uh, it's like you pay enough for that so I mean it's set we was talking last night everything's getting smaller you know and more expensive it's like why I made lasagna the other night in 12 ounce boxes you can get the one pound lasagna noodle boxes but they got like one row of them and on each side they got rows of 12 ounces so you just you're pretty much what you're going to pick you know you're lucky to grab that if you don't read it closely i mean it's like what what the hell same price what it doesn't make sense because i think they're going to do away with the one pound boxes in my opinion i think that's what it's coming down to because uh but they put them all there and that one like in the center or something or on the end so that way when you grab one chances are you're going to grab the 12 ounce box and not the 16 ounce box which is a pound and it's like geez so yeah it's getting nuts guys real crazy i mean you know about the mail i i just don't know anymore what what this country's coming to nobody takes pride in their work you know, we don't even go to Taco Bell anymore because if you, you know, if you seen that video, that, that taco I got, I mean, it was like, it was, I think it was a soft shell. It, we ended up throwing that shit away. Guys, <clears throat> guy commented, well, what do you want for a dollar? Well, number one, we spent $15 on that shit. And that's what we got, shit, to come home and throw away. 
So it wasn't that I just bought one for lunch. Still, it's a dollar. Okay, I get it. But damn, take some pride in it. Don't don't make it to where it was. I mean, it was nasty. If you guys seen that, if you haven't seen, check it out, man. It was freaking nasty. I mean, I don't care if it's a if it's a dollar. Okay, I can understand getting a small portion. But geez, you know, we bought a you know the box of them which was 15 bucks so you got so many so many it averaged out to a buck a piece what do you want for a dollar well number one we spent 15 dollars and couldn't eat none of it you know i want something i can eat not well shit i gotta throw that away you know i mean you leave you know you go to mcdonald's we we go to mcdonald's it's over 20 bucks every time just for me and her and you're hungry when you leave you know it's nuts. I mean, damn. I've never went to McDonald's and got full. Ever. Ever. Never walked out of there full. I walk out of there, get in the truck like if we're on a trip, a road trip or something. I come back from the doc doctors in Gainesville, which is over an hour away. Almost an hour and a half. You know, we'll stop there and get a bite to eat. Shit, we're a mile or two up the road and we're like, man, you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. And we just ate, you know? I just It just doesn't make sense. I don't know if you can hear that dog barking, but every time somebody walks past, we've got new neighbors bought the house right up here, kind of next to us. And uh, all that dog does is bark. Jeez, it's been in our yard twice. And, <clears throat> you know, well, one night it was 3 o'clock in the morning got a motion alert from the ring doorbell so i come out and the dog was right here so i had to shoot away a couple days later we got a motion alert and monkey opened the door and that it was that that woman getting her dog and she said yeah she said well that dog was in the yard the other night about three o'clock in the morning I went up at 3 o'clock in the morning. She said, well, it was here because we got ring doorbell. And then she was like, oh, my husband must have let him out. Keep your dog on a fucking leash, you know. If it's barking like that, put the damn thing in the house. You know, four years I've been here with her. Never had to listen to that. Now I got to hear it, you know. Dog barking. Dog coming in the yard, shitting in our yard, you know. I don't want to pick up somebody else's dog shit. They wouldn't like it if our dog went up there and shit, you know. But as soon as people, you know, it's funny how as soon as you say, well, you know, it's on camera, and I, you know, it's monitored. How, oh, well, my husband must have let him out. And, well, what about today, you know? It was broad daylight. <laughs> What's he doing here, you know what I mean? So, I mean, if he runs, and the way they drive on this street, that dog ain't going to last long. You know, what's he doing off leash? He's a big dog, you know? So what's he doing off the leash? Gosh, you can't just let your animals out here, you know, and just let them run. I mean, take, you know, take responsibility for that. You can't tell me that dog's in their yard barking and they can't hear it. It don't bother, well, that's what dogs do, bark. No, they bark when something's wrong. If somebody's at the door, they'll bark. But damn, if they're just standing there in the yard barking at nothing, whether somebody walks past or not, they're just barking and barking and barking, something's wrong. That's not what dogs do. Our dog don't do that, you know? He only barks if somebody rings the doorbell. Or if the motion detection goes off and he hears, uh, he hears Alexa say, uh, motion detected at the front door, he'll bark, he knows somebody's here. But... He won't, he don't just stand there and bark. And I hate when people say, well, that's what dogs do. Yeah, dogs will bark, but damn, they don't, you know. So anyway, enough of the ranting again. <laughs> so Monkey must be at the store, so she must be right up here. So I'm going to get off here. I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for hanging with me today, guys. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for more videos. Of, you know, I'll upload some stuff this weekend for you. And, um... Uh, you know, if things get back to normal more, we'll get to get out more and do some more stuff. But we don't like to go places if we don't really have to, you know, even wearing a mask. I mean, we do, we're just trying to do our part. So uh, so anyway, guys, thanks thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.